Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, I will talk about web development inside Visual Studio. I will talk about how you can build a web application with ASP.NET. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. So now I'll give you a Wikipedia's definition of web development. So web development is the work involved in developing a website for the internet or an intranet. So web development can range from developing a simple single static page of plain text to a complex web-based internet application. Electronic businesses and social network services. A more comprehensive list of tasks for which web development commonly refer refers may include web engineering, web design, web content development, client liaising, client client side server side scripting, web server, and network security configuration, as well as the e-commerce development. So rather than just talking too much, we'll get to it straight away in terms of building a web application with ASP.NET. ASP.NET is a free web framework for building great websites and web applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You can also create a web APIs and real-time technologies using WebSockets. ASP.NET Core is an alternative to the ASP.NET. So now we will look at how you can get started in terms of building websites and web applications on Visual Studio. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio opened. This is a Visual Studio 2019. So if you don't have it, make sure you download and install Visual Studio before you get started with this bit here. So we get started by actually creating a new project. So if you've got the new project dialog here, so we click on the create a new project. So you can you can um, also open an, uh, an existing project from a solution, or you can get it from a GitHub or like any uh, any repository. So we click on the create a new project here. So now, as you can see, in in on, under Visual Studio, we can build a an ASP.NET Core web application, or ASP.NET web application using the .NET framework. So ASP.NET offers free frameworks for creating web application. The web forms, ASP.NET Core MVC, ASP.NET web pages. All free frameworks are stable and mature and you can create a web application with any of them. No matter what framework you choose, you will get all the benefits and features of the ASP.NET everywhere. So each framework targets a different development style. The one you choose depends on the combination of your programming assets. That's the knowledge, skills, and development experience. The type of application you are creating and the development approach you are comfortable with. So we get started by first choosing the ASP.NET Core web application. So we, we click on the next. So if you're actually using the Visual Studio for the first time, obviously here, this bit here, you can configure your project by actually giving your project the name, choosing a, a suitable location, and naming the solution for the project. So but if you are if you're comfortable with that, then there's no there's no need actually going through this bit here. So we click on the create here. So once you actually clicked on this on, on the create, you're actually prompted with this with this um, .NET Core web application configuration. From this part here, you can create, you can click on it um, to create a, a blank, or you start from a blank project, or you can choose from some of the provider templates, right? Here you can, you can start with a, with a web API, or a, API application, web application, or you can start with a, with a, with a template web application and here you can also start with a template web application using the MVC, the model view controller. You can also use 
you can you can also use the um, an angular template to create your project you can also use the react js template uh, or you can use the react js and redux and at the top here you can choose the, 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 the what type of framework that you want to use you can use the .NET core or you can use the standard .NET framework application yeah and here you can choose the version of the .NET core that you want to use so if you if you choose the .NET framework you can also choose the version of the .NET framework that you want to use so you, you should also bear that in mind so as I said yeah earlier on that there, there are three types or three forms that you can actually create your web application the web form so you can get started with the web forms if you have a slight experience in windows forms wpf or the net framework so the development style is just rapid development using a rich library of controls that encapsulates html markups yeah or you can use the mvc which is the model view controller you can get started if you have slight experience on ruby on real or the net this actually takes a full control over the html markup the code and markup separated and easy to write test the best choice for mobile and single page applications right or you can use the web pages this this um, if you've got um, if you've got a slight or experience in a classic ASP or PHP, here you can you um the development style is also very simple. You have the HTML markup and your code together in the same file. So I will speak briefly about web forms. Yeah. So with ASP.NET web forms, you can build a dynamic website using a, fam a familiar drag and drop event dri driven models a design surface and a hundreds of controls and components let you rapidly build a sophisticated powerful ui driven size with data access or you can use the mvc the model view controller this bit here so for this for this bit here the, the asp.net mvc gives you a powerful patterns based way to build a dynamic website that enables a clean separation of concerns and that gives you full control over the markup for enjoyable agile development asp.net mvc includes many features that enable fast tdd friendly that's the test driven um, development friendly development for creating sophisticated applications that use the latest web standards or you can use the asp.net web pages this bit yeah, asp.net web pages and the razor syntax provides a fast approachable and lightweight way to combine server side, server code with html to create dynamic web content connect to a database add video li video link to social networking sites and include many more features that help you create a beautiful site that conforms to the latest web standard so once we've actually know this we should also bear in mind that all three asp.net frameworks are based on the .NET framework and share core functionalities of .NET and asp.net for example all three frameworks offer a login security model based around membership all three share the, the same facilities for managing requests handling sessions and so on that are part of the core asp.net functionality so in addition the three frameworks are not entirely independent and choosing one does not prelude using another since the framework can coexist in the same web application it is not uncommon to see individual components of application rate written using different frameworks for example customer facing portion of an app might be developed in mvc to optimize markup while the data access and administrative portions are developed in web forms to take advantage of data control and simple data access so before we sign off here we talk uh, we, i'll talk briefly about the web api 
which is this part here the API development yeah so the ASP.NET web API is a framework that makes it easy to build HTTP services that reach a broad range of client including browser and mobile devices ASP.NET API is an idea platform is an ideal platform for building restful applications on the .NET framework you can also build a you can also use the real-time technologies so asp.net signal oh, is a new library for asp.net developers that makes developing real-time web app web functionalities easier it signal all oh, allows a bi-directional communication between server and client service can push content to connected clients instantly as it becomes available signal r support web sockets and fall back to other compatible techniques for older browsers signal r includes api for connect for connection management that's for instance connect and disconnect events and group connections and of authorization so since we've actually got into this bit i hope you've actually uh you've actually understood how you can get started with web development there are more that you can also look at like mobile apps and sites and single page applications and web hooks so you can go ahead and, and and broaden your your knowledge on this bit here so i hope this actually this video will actually help you to get started in terms of building a web application using the visual studio under the asp.net so I'll leave it here so if you haven't subscribed once again please make sure you do and have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed stay in peace bye bye